Area and tiling problem. I think this is a level 6 grade D question. It doesn't look very complicated to me, but this second part can be a bit awkward with different change of units, so it might be on the borderline grade C, level 7. But this first part is clearly very straightforward. Um, you are told that the rectangular blocks um, are fit together to make a large square. The length of the rectangle is twice the width. So if this is x, then this is 2x, and this is x, this is 2x, this is x, this is 2x, this is x, this is 2x. You don't, no, you don't really need to know that, really. You should be able to, to, to figure out that, um, that these are all just lots of squares in here. So if that's 30, you've got 3 going across there, that's 10 by 10, and 10 times 10 is 100 centimetres squared. The patio is 3 metres by 4.5. Now this is a four mark question, and this is actually a starred question, so there is a mark four setting you working out neatly and organised. Now, there's two real approaches here. You can work out how many tiles are going to fit across and down, and work it out from there. Or you can work out the area of the whole shape, and then divide by the area of one tile, and that will tell you how many tiles there are. Uh, fitting the tiles across, you've got uh, 4.5 meters. Now, I would always recommend to change, especially if you've got a calculator available, to change your units into the smaller type of units. So we're dealing with centimeters here and meters here. So change this into 450 centimeters and 300 centimeters. And then if we're working out how many tiles we've got going across, we've got 450 divided by 30, which is going to give you 15 tiles across. And then we've got 300 divided by 30, it's going to give us 10 tiles across. So there are 15 times 10 tiles, which is 150 tiles. And as each tile has one square in the middle, there are 150 small square blocks. And as each one has four rectangles around each square, there's going to be four times 150 rectangles which is 600 rectangles. So that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is to work out the, the area and then divide them by the uh, area of one block which is 30 times 30. Now you've got to be careful with the units. The most common mistakes I've seen here are people doing 4.5 times 3 and then trying to divide by um, changing the centimeters squared into meters squared and messing it up because there is, they're missing out the scale factor of the fact that area um, is a square scale factor rather than just a straightforward one. So if you do it by 450 times 300 then you're going to get um, 1,000, uh, 1, 1, okay, let's bring in the calculator. So we've got We've got that uh, area of the. Let's actually move over this side. We've got that area of the the whole shape, and we're going to divide by the number, the area of one of these, which is 30 times 30, which is 900. So we've got 135000 divided by. Let's do the 30 times 30 just to make sure. And that gives us 150. So it tells us 150 tiles, and then we can work out the number of rectangular blocks by times and by four.